To begin with, the IGF had serious problems to talk about uh, internet governance at all. Many people who were involved in organizing the IGF were very afraid that the IGF would uh, <clears throat> mainly uh, sort of uh, reproduce the conflicts we had through WISIS and would thereby undermine the whole process of establishing this global forum. So for the first two years, this topic was hardly touched at all. But then, starting with the third meeting, um, the uh, management of critical internet resources became subject of two main sessions. And it turned out that the IGF was uh, very well able to talk about these issues without uh, getting uh, into deadlocks, ideological deadlocks that would just uh, divide people. Um, the difference between WISIS and the IGF was that the IGF uh, approached uh, the management of critical internet resources in a much more practical and also pragmatic manner. Um, the focus was less on matters of principles, it was more on practical matters and often even operational matters. One of the reasons for this changed focus probably is the different composition of the audience that attends IGF meetings. There are lots of pr uh, practitioners from the private sector, but also from civil society who are in the audience, and they bring to the fore their own perspective on internet governance, which differs in many respects from an intergovernmental forum as a world, UN World Summit. But I think a second reason why the IGF was able to approach this topic in a different and much more constructive way is that the IGF is not a decision-making place. There was no need to find consensus on specific wording. The audience could tolerate differences of view um, <clears throat> to a much higher degree than it was possible throughout WISIS. So, people are now much more confident to address topics where it's well known that people have different views. And they're also more confident of addressing topics where no convergence of views is in sight. I think thanks to the IGF, we discuss these issues in a more educated manner and also in a way that is less threatening to many people who feel they have to defend their views. One of the major achievements of the IGF is, as one observer once described it, to have created a non-threatening environment where people can express their views and are willing to listen to other people's views who might differ from their own views. That's one major, I think, achievement. And the second achievement is this uh, mutual capacity building. Capacity building not in a way where experts educate lay people, but rather in a way where many experts with different cultural and uh, disciplinary backgrounds talk to each other so that everybody who attends these meetings learns a lot. Even controversies over issues related to critical internet resources um, can gain an educational dimension because we learn about other people's views and thereby about pros and cons of various options of managing the internet. Thank you.